what's going on everybody welcome back to another video now in today's video i'm going to be showing off the best settings in arsenal which just so happen to be my settings so let's jump right into it now the first thing i'm going to start off with is i'm going to sh share my pc specs if you're in the discord you should know what they are or if you're coming to my streams and whatnot so first off the cpu i have the ryzen 1700 which is clocked at 3.6 gigahertz next i have the rx 580 for my gpu for ram i have 32 gigabytes of viper ram which is clocked at 2866 megahertz and my motherboard is just a b450m pro 4 i think it's an asrock one nothing too special all right next up for my input and output devices i have for my mouse i use the glorious model d i like this mouse it just feels comfortable to me i used to use the g502 a lot that's also another good mouse it's just super heavy that's my only problem with the g502 but i like the ergonomic feel to the glorious model d along with the g502 both are good mice um for my mouse pad i use the steel series qck edge i use the large version for that it's an okay mouse pad i mean i don't like how it's cloth it just absorbs all my sweat but you know um for my keyboard i use the rosewheel k75 rgb i use the brown switches for that and I'm not so sure you can still get that keyboard. I don't think you can, but it was like $50 on Amazon or something. Next up, I have the Blue Yeti as my microphone. And then for my gaming monitor, I use a Dell 27-inch 144Hz 1080p display gaming monitor. The model number is D2719HGF for anybody who wants specifics. Alright, next up we have my Arsenal settings. Now, now in the display settings, I have subtitles, kill effects, shadows, viewport character, Particle Physics, 20s Filter and FFA, Basic Skins, Ragdoll, and Ragdolls Off. The problem with Basic Skins for me right now is just they're too glitchy. I mean, if you remember seeing my tweet or that one video I had a while back talking about it, characters would be like half made and you wouldn't see their head or their chest or whatever and it, it just annoyed me so i just decided to use the standard characters and then i have minimized view model on and my for my crosshair color i have full red full green and full blue all right next up is the audio i have everything off in the audio except mute megaphones on because i like having my ears as it turns out i don't want to listen to other people's garbage that they play in their server next up we have the control part of the menu now i have auto reload off i used to play with auto reload it was nice but then it got annoying because it would play the animation automatically and it would block my view and everything so i just decided to turn it off and just do it manually um i have gamepad vibration off and i don't mute my chat. All right, so my, for my Roblox settings, I have the shift lock switch on, which doesn't really matter for Arsenal, but for other games, I use that. Camera sensitivity is 0.05, as at the moment as this video is being made and posted i will switch to 0.65 or 0.75 if the game doesn't have arsenal's exact sensitivity i will change it up to there um for my volume i only have one bar for full screen i have that on i don't use alt enter i just i usually just do f11 since that just seems to be logical but i've heard theories of alt enter creating less input lag but I don't, i'm not so sure about that on that for graphics mode i have manual and i'm using two bars and then in the fps on locker settings i just have my fps uncapped and the console's hidden so it doesn't keep the black annoying thing up on my screen when I start up my computer. I also have that put in my startup menu which isn't too hard. You can just look up on Google or YouTube or whatever how to make a program start up on startup or whatever. There's a folder you can put files in that will have it start up. You just make a shortcut or whatever and it's super easy. All right, next up we have my Kovac settings. I wanted to share this because some people are curious of how I use my Kovac settings and stuff. In the main settings, I have my sensitivity scale set to Valorant. I have my horizontal sensitivity set to 0.3941, which if you go to Google Translate and put in your sensitivity and make it go to Arsenal, that's how, totally how you do it, for real. Now, if you were to convert my Arsenal sensitivity to my to the Valorant sensitivity in like Aimstars or something, you would get the same thing. So it's just, it's just an even balance so then i don't get my aim doesn't get completely thrown off when i'm aim training and then i go to play the game and i'm using a completely different sensitivity but my vertical sensitivity is locked to my horizontal now this isn't what arsenal does arsenal has a weird vertical sensitivity it's much different than its horizontal but i usually just don't mind that it it's not that big of a deal if you wanted to be extra precise with your aim training and stuff and then my max frames per second is 144 according to my monitor as well all right in the weapons i have hide weapon on i have hit scan graphics visible on and i have vis visual origin at weapon on i don't know what the heck that setting is but 
it's just what I have on. Um, zoom sense, my zoom sense multiplier is one. My crosshair scale is 0.9. The crosshair color is two, two, three, seven red, 28 in green, and 36 in blue, or in hex, hexadecimal, ED1C24. My crosshair image is the hash.png, which should look pretty familiar if you go to the, if you look through the crosshair images, you should be able to select that exact one if you have Kovac. Um, my bloom is off. My hit sound is set to the body shot 06. This is what the original Kovacs had set and I didn't like the new Kovacs sounds so I went ahead and swapped the sounds and then the hit head sound is headshot 03. All right in the UI I have player info, speed, hotbar, weapon, scenario name, movement bar, health bars, and info bars on. Everything else in the UI is set to off. Well I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me showing off my settings and my um kind of setup reveal sort of uh we'll be getting to that later in the future maybe if you guys did enjoy do leave a like and subscribe that'd be greatly appreciated and i will see you guys in the next video anyway goodbye